Hey everyone, Piano Man Chuck here, back from NAMM 2015 after the third day in attending. So I'm going to talk about digital pianos and that falls under the category of either workstation or stage piano. I'm not dealing with synthesizers or controllers or anything like that. And in the past couple days I mentioned that I've uh, looked at uh, basically nine Casio and Kawai and Korg and Kurzweil and Nord and Roland and Yamaha and Alesis and Fissus. And all the rest are not really in the picture. Um, but out of those nine, I've narrowed it down to one. And that happens to go to the Korg Kronos 2. What an excellent board. And the reasons for that are just so many. I mean, I could write a book on why this particular workstation keyboard, just nothing else can hold a candle to it. It's that powerful. It's my pick of the year because it can do anything and everything pretty much. You can use it as a stage piano. You can use it as a workstation. You can use it as a recording studio. It's got 32 tracks sequencer 16 midi tracks 16 audio tracks nine distinct sound engines and they've got an enhanced sgx2 grand piano sound engine and they finally added sympathetic resonance to that too 21 gigabytes of waveform data you know patches voices whatever you want to call it 21 gigabytes if you download the um patch list it's like 130 pages. There's a lot of user manuals that aren't even 130 pages. So, and, and then set lists. I love set lists. And not only do you have set lists, 128 set lists with 128 slots per set list. Do the math, 128 times 128. That's a lot. But anyway, you can adjust the fonts. You can color code it. You can make notes to yourself. And it's just so usable. You can do anything you want with a set list. It's great. At combis, that's another thing. I mean, you can do 16 layers of sounds where other keyboard manufacturers boast about four layers. So, and then you've got that eight inch color. Not only it's a touch screen, but it's touch and drag. It's not like, you know, anybody else that's coming up with, oh, we got a touch screen now and you touch to make parameters. You can touch and actually drag stuff now. So when you got the picture of a piano, a grand piano with a lid opening, instead of using a dial to open and close the lid, you can just touch and drag. Really cool. And you can do that the same thing with some of the synthesizer patches that they have where they have a picture of a patch board. You can touch and drag the wires around that kind of thing too karma and here's the best part of it all and this is one of the main reasons why the keyboard pick of the year goes to korg for the chronos 2. the first chronos generation came out in 2011 and then you had the next chronos generation the chronos x and then now the chronos 2. And they've released OS 3.0, latest operating system. All of the previous versions of the Kronos can download that, install it, and now you are up to date to the Kronos 2. So basically, if you bought the Kronos in 2011 or the Kronos X, 2012, 2013, 2014, or you're buying the Kronos 2 in 2015 on, you can make it all the same. Korg has not forgotten about its previous customers. And it's rare that a manufacturer does that. So I got to hand it to Korg. Korg has done a real service to all of us. Now, one more thing to mention. Not only is that German Grand one of the best sounding pianos that's built into a slab keyboard, the Japanese Grand, eh, I wasn't so thrilled with it. Some people are. But now they've added a Berlin Grand, which we think is a Beckstein, but this Berlin Grand is also really cool. It's free with the Kronos 2, it's included, but the previous users have to download it and, of course, pay for it. 
which is a small price to ask for because you're basically taking your old Kronos and making it an equivalent of a Kronos 2. Now, also with the Kronos 2, you got those nice side panels and the screen is a little bit more tilted. Those things you don't get with the older versions, but still, as an original Kronos owner since 2011, I'm happy to be able to download that operating system and have all the features that the new Kronos 2 has. And if I want the Berlin Grand, I'll go ahead and purchase that too. So Korg, man, I mean, I can keep going. You know, when you change from one sound to another, it's smooth transitions. There's no delay, there's no cutoff of anything. And they're using these SSD drives, solid state drives. So basically, there's no loading time or anything. Everything is instant. I, mean, I can keep going, but that's one of the many reasons the Korg Kronos 2 is my keyboard pick of the year. And thank you, Korg, for supporting all the older previous owners of the Korg Kronos. Piano Man Chuck, peace out. Thanks for watching.